In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own ClickBank HopAd using the HopAds Builder. First thing you need to do is log into your ClickBank account. Then you can either click on Account Settings, and there should be a tab there for HopAd Builder. Or you can also, if you see the HopAd Builder box right here, and a link that says Learn More, well, you can click on that as well. So there are basically two types of hop ads. The first is a text-only builder, which basically displays a very simple ad that looks like Google AdSense or most other ads that you find out there. And then there's also the tabbed ad box builder, which allows you to build a more complex ad and also have several different categories of products. First, I'm going to build the basic text ad. Just click on Get Started. Okay, so what you need to do is enter the keyword of the products that you want to display. And I'm going to enter Golf. That's my keyword. And then your affiliate nickname, which is filled in by default, but just make sure that that's correct. And any tracking ID, if you happen to be promoting or building ads for different websites, you may want to enter tracking ID as well. Okay? And then you can choose to display maximum number of ads, which basically displays all available products in that particular category or displays only the top selling or the best products. Okay? So I'm just going to leave it as default and then I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click on Next. So on this screen, I can add more customization options to my ad, and I can also see the preview of how the actual ad will look. So the first thing you need to do is select an ad layout based on the position on your website or on your blog that you want to put in these ads. And there are many different layouts which are pretty similar to Google AdSense or most other popular advertising comments on the internet today. So I'm going to select the very basic banner. And you can see now that the ad preview shows me the banner for my ad. However, I can customize this further by selecting the number of rows, number of columns, and I can also edit the width, the height, and most importantly, I can make this ad match the overall color scheme of my blog by editing some of the colors here. So for example, if I wanted to select a different background color, I can just select pick and then I can choose yellow. And you can see that the background of my ad is now yellow. So I can continue to change the colors of the link and the text if I want to. I can even select different types of fonts, font sizes, and I can also edit the alignment of this text. So, for example, if I want to put it center, and then finally choose to open the links in a new window of, or on the existing window itself. So I'm going to leave it as blank new window and click on next. Okay. And then there are two different formats for the ad display options. The first is iframe, and it's reached in here. This is the recommended format, so I'm going to select iframe. But if you're an advanced user, you can also select this text. And then I'm going to just highlight everything here. I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to show you how to put that into a WordPress blog. The easiest way, of course, is to put it into some of your existing posts. And I'm going to put it into the default Hello World post by clicking on Edit. And I'm going to choose the HTML version of the text editor instead of the original version. So, okay, now we see just the HTML. And then I'm going to paste the entire code here. And then finally, I'm going to click on Update Post. Okay, so my post has been updated, 
and I'm just going to view that post to see how the ads look. I'm going to click on View Post. Right, and here you can see your default Hello World blog post and the ClickBank ad that we just created using the Hop Ad Builder earlier. And this is how your ClickBank ad will look on your blog. There are, of course, a few other ways you can put the ads onto your WordPress blog. The second option is to use the WordPress text widgets and just edit those widgets in the widgets section of your dashboard. And the third method is to manually edit the theme files. And this is recommended for more advanced users. You can edit the theme files to make sure that this ad appears very, very uniformly on your entire blog according to the placements where you put the ads. But first, I'm going to show you how to create the other type of ad, which is the tabbed ad box builder. So just click on Get Started, and you can see that this is a much more advanced ad format, where there are a few tabs at the top, and you can actually click on those tabs and see the corresponding product. So this type of ad is pretty useful if you have some sort of portal websites, and you may want to display different product categories that are related to each other in different tabs. So the first thing you need to do is give the title for the individual tabs. 